Hey guys, remember the bag? It was sent to me, and I told you guys I was going to do a video. Uh, this bag is going to be my trapping, snaring, fishing kit that I'm going to keep on that um, that game cart I got. You know, it's I weighed it. It's 28 pounds. With my bug out bag and that bag right there, you could put me in an Amazon. Or you could put me on the Pacific Coast. Or you could put me on a desert, a deserted island, tropical island. I will snare, I will trap, and I will catch fish. And I could, I got items in here that I could use for spearing as well. With that bag right there, I'm not going hungry. You know, I done a littler bag of, of a few videos back, and I just upgraded it. This bag right here, and I'm not done with it yet. I've still got some more room in there to add more to it. I'm going to give you the... Um, now, this is just my opinion, my ideals of what I think I might need. I won't be carrying it. Like I said, it will be on a cart or it will be in a wagon. You know carrying the extra weight but i weighed it it's 28 pounds um and i think it's got enough in there to keep me as long as there's there's fish in the water and there's animals running around i'm going to eat real good because i got multiple ways of catching them and snaring them and trapping them so i'm gonna give you the i'm gonna give the um the video the, the phone to Ricky so he can video while I'm taking it all out and we'll just put it on the truck hood all right here you go and this video might be long so just stay with it to the end tell me what you think about the items tell me what you would add what you would take away all right here we go all right Ricky uh first I'll start right here guys the front pocket front pocket has that knife that I was going to use for trapping that Ben sent me. That's a perfect size for trapping, for, you know, skinning. So that's the first item. Good um, pair of linesman pliers. Soap for washing up. This is a must have. If you're going to use the conna bears, this is a safety safety catch. You put them on after you open them up. You put them on there, and it will not spring open and catch your hand or your arm. This is a must. I'm going to order a couple more of these. If you're going to mess with the conna bears, get this. It's a must-have. It'll save you from having broken fingers, broken hands, broken arms. It'll save you a lot of pain. Um, Matches with some cotton ball for fire. Lighter with some tinder. Nails. I'll show you why I have nails in here. Carabiners. I'll show you why I have carabiners. A mini little first aid pouch. You know, Tylenol, Q-tips, Band-Aids, Neosporin. Because if you're dealing with knives, you're dealing with traps, you're going to need that over here for you fire rope or well, fat rope for fire starting a good pocket knife you're going to need a good pocket knife this is damn razor sharp for skinning smaller games cutting cord line I use this forceps for getting hooks out I clipped on a pair of no fingernail co uh, cutters for cutting fishing line. It's a it's a lot easier than cutting with a knife, and I got it on there so I don't lose it. Some compression tissues for cleaning up, or when Mother Nature calls, the flashlight. 
That's it for the first pouch. Let's go right here to this. Field dressing gloves. Got to have them. Gigging, gigging um, fork. That's what the nails are for. Right there. Stick, find any stick. Put them in there. You got a spear. Fish, turtles, animals, humans, whatever. Black electrical tape. Multiple uses for that. A little flashlight. Hand up. Crank up one. I've showed you guys these before. These are throwing. Well, there we go. These are throwing knives, but the way it is, you could tie this end on to a stick and you have a spear, a hunting spear, a gigging spear, because once it goes in, it's gonna have a hard time coming out. I've got three of those. I don't think I've seen them before. I had them, I, I've had them for a while. Um, another one I got here is some more. They're all three like that, same thing. They're, they're called little mini harpoons, a hunting spear, gigging. There's three of them. And it comes with a little fire starter. Okay. Fishing um, setup. Throw it out. Reel it in. Fish. This is um, this. I think this is. Uh... Oh, I tell you right here. I got an extra spool. This is. It don't say what to pound it, y'all. It don't say, but it's sort of like spider wire, so it's it's it is um, tough to to break. But I got an extra spool of that bank line paracord. A, a um, gill net. This is a throwaway. Probably one, maybe two times of use. Then throw it away. After you get done with it, burn it. So no animals will get it. No fish will get it. It won't get caught in them. You won't make animals and fish suffer. Burn it. Get rid of it. I've got another of that. And I got three Middle nets. Hold up middle nets. Okay. Let me. Stay. All right, let me turn it around here. How many pockets are there? One, two, three, four. That's what I figured. Okay. Another little fishing net. Now you. Throw it on here, you fill it up, you throw it out there, and the fish gets caught up in it. It could be legal, it could not be legal. I don't know, but in a SHTF situation, everything's gonna be legal. This is a cut noodle. I'll probably I'll do a video on this and this one. This is for my bank line. This is to hold my um, my homemade trout line. But I'll do a, I'll do separate videos on those and show you guys exactly. More gloves to keep your blood off. This goes to a little pocket fisherman. It's an extra spool. A little cheap six foot um, stringer. Two packs of wet wipes. Uh, little jigs for crappie panfish whole bunch of um, hook sinkers everything for regular fish like this here 
a leader with um, a couple hooks, some bobbers, some extra fishing line. Pantyhose, you can use pantyhose when you're using for your um, minnow traps. You can use pantyhose when you're setting for your um, snares, your conibears. You, got, you can cut the pantyhose, time on the conibears so the, the meat can't come out. You can bait them in. You can use it for fishing. You can put guts or whatever into the pantyhose hook it onto your hook tie it on so the fish can't eat the um your bait off the hook is easy they still get the smell and the taste but they just can't get the bait it's a must okay big compartment here and i, I can already tell there's a lot in here yes they are slingshot a must I mean it's simple and what I use I go to the Dollar Tree and buy 50 marbles a bag of marbles bait I mean ammo okay put that right there oh boy let's see these are all leaders for my snares or I can use them on my um, conibears and that's what these little clips come in. You clip this onto here, the other one onto your other snare or your conibear, and you're good to go. Game bags, deer bags. You know, if you get, you're out and you get a deer, and you don't want to carry everything home, cut it up, put it in here. That way it keeps stuff off your, um, off your your the meat okay scoot back Ricky I'm gonna have to have some room here okay two rat traps got to have the rat traps small game rope you can use this for setting your your bigger conibears. bears There's another one of those goes there. I carry bait, extra bait, corn for fishing, little cans of corn for fishing, salmon and sardines for baiting my traps, or if you get hungry, you can always eat. Are sardines good? They're, you got to have a taste for them. A whole row of tie wire for tying my snares down, tying my traps down, a must have. Okay guys, I'm gonna put this bag, you keep it right here, Ricky, because I'm gonna need some room here. Snares, a uh, crap load of snares. More snares. One, two, three, four, one tens. Perfect for squirrels, perfect for muskrat, for mink, any small game, perfect for. More snares. Hey, Eric, buddy, get out of my truck. All right, you sat right there. I've got one, two, one sixties. The, these will get raccoons. These will get possum. This will get the bigger ones. Sorry, I found another smaller uh, gig. So I've got two in there. I've got. A 120, I mean a 220, this will get small kit beavers, raccoons, um, you know, the bigger game, groundhogs, so I've got that. 
and last but not least, I threw these in here. Now, if I have to, hey, Eric, don't be doing that. Get out of my truck. If I have to, if I have to make a bow, I can screw these into the shaft. But I can also, if I have reeds around or small bamboo, I can screw that in or tie that in. And I can have three mini spears as well. And those uh, edges on it, couldn't they get to, couldn't they get stuck in like a deer or something? Yeah. Okay, but let me see it, Ricky. Sorry, guys. This is what I have, and it, it all fit in that bag. I'll probably what I'll probably do. I'll probably add at least one or two more two twenties. I'll probably add another um, boar heads, three more, uh, another pack of those. And just what do you think I need? What else do you think I should put in this? You know, I do have a, sh a knife sharpener that stays in my bug out bag. It's, you know, so I don't need to put another knife sharpener in here because I have two in my bug out bag. So I don't need to add another knife sharpener here. Um, you know, I think, you know, there's a lot in that bag. And I think anywhere I would go, as long as there's fish in the water and animals running around, me and the boys are going to eat good. I have multiple ways of catching fish, trapping fish, snaring fish, hunting fish, I mean, hunting game. Uh, turtles, you know, I've got, I got it covered a lot. You know, I'll have my bow, I'll have my firearm, so I got other ways to hunt there. But what do you guys think? What would you add? What would you take away? You know, just um, tell me your ideals, tell me your thoughts. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me get over here so you guys get a get a look at everything and just tell me what you guys think all right i'm out of here everybody have a good day bye